Hey, Rook Knight here. Thanks for joining me. So I have some locks here I'd like to try to pick open, and here is my homemade uh, electric pick gun. Uh, just for anybody that's curious, this is nothing more than a uh, pumpkin saw, that, and this head is from a pick gun. It actually was only under 20 bucks. The sawing, the pumpkin saw was about eight, nine dollars, and the picking gun was nine dollars. So I took the head off, and for anybody curious, I attached it with some screws and then some uh, JB weld to attach it. I could even change the tip now. Here's what it looks like, even with some force on it. Uh, I've seen other people make these, and they usually have the picking tip going straight up and down and going like uh, up and down. I went side to side because it seems like there's more force. Anyway, without any further ado, let's try picking. I have an array of locks here going from easier to harder. Uh, mind you, these aren't going to pick any, this isn't going to pick, you know, any pack locks or any crazy security locks, but just for fun and, you know, just the average everyday locks that you people see around, you know, in the wild even. Let's see what they can do. So here's something like a uh, Chinese lock that you see that people have from, uh, you know, the dollar store or something they might pick up. Hold on, you know what? That's a smaller keyway. Let's try a different tensioning wrench. FYI, it is going to be probably loud. There we go. Open. Got a master number three here. Locked up. Whoops, stuck. Got to be careful not to go in too far. All right, got that one open. Got another master three here. It uh, heavily relies on the tension. Same with the pick gun. Feather, less than feather like tension you're, you know, using. Reset. There we go, open. And we got a pack lock here. This still doesn't have any security pins, but it, you know, is one of the larger locks, kind of looks intimidating. I think it's a, what is it, a PL1. Definitely doesn't have any security pins, but this thing opens up like butter with this homemade lock, uh, pick gun. Here's a Brinks now. The Brinks, I think, does have possibly um, maybe one security pin in it, maybe. Um, that You know, that core moves a little bit. Either it's just loose. I thought I heard somebody say it, but I'm not sure. Anyway, let's try this. Oh, reset. Little rocking back and forth does the trick. I got that. This is a Master 140. I think there is one security spool. Now, mind you, it's only four pins, but just like butter, that thing just falls apart. Uh, we got a Brinks here. This one I think does have more than one security spin. I think it has a few spools, but I'm not sure. Can't open it to find out, but I believe I was told it does have spools. Let's see if we can get into this one. We're locked up. And we got it open. And last but not least, I have a master lock here. This one I know for sure has at least one spool. Um, I've single pin picked this and I definitely had felt uh, false sets. So we're locked up as well. Let's see if we can get in there. You know what, I'm not liking that tensioner. Let's try this one. Give me a little more room to play, I think. No, I lie. Let's go back to this one. And we are open. There we go, guys. We got eight locks, count them. All open by a homemade pick gun, homemade electric pick gun. And it's really simple. You could do it yourself if you get bored for under 20 bucks. Just uh, probably 20 bucks in 20 minutes of your time. And your longest thing you're going to be doing is waiting for the JB well to harden. 
All right, guys, that's all I got. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for sticking with me. Catch you on the flip side.